the reason why the price of gas is going up is not because of steps the president has taken. They are because President Putin is invading Ukraine. I would say that since President Putin uh, began his military buildup on Ukrainian borders, the price of gas at the pump in America has gone up. You may have noticed this week that your gas prices have gone up. I want to talk to you a little bit about why. A lot of it has to do with Vladimir Putin. Americans are paying a higher price at the pump because of the actions of President Putin. The president's statement blames the Putin price hike. Are you guys just going to start blaming Putin for everything until the midterms? All right. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki blaming surging gas prices on Vladimir Putin. Well, it comes as she reportedly has some new plans. An Axios report says she might be leaving the White House and joining MSNBC. So who's going to take her place behind the podium? And would you tune in to watch her new show? That's today's bottom line. Panelists, let's ask them. Uh, Jesse Jane Duff, uh, Vic Bajaj, Jonathan Gillum. Jesse Jane Duff, I'll start with you. Uh, and we just played a couple of clips there of, of, of Saki. And that could be your precursor to, to, to her show. That's what you'd be watching. I expect that she's going to do quite well after leaving the White House. So many people may be upset hearing me say this, but she does a phenomenal job presenting the Democratic narrative and presenting a narrative that protects this White House from any blame. She spins things in a manner that are actually uh, believable if you don't really understand the entire situation or backtrack through the facts of history. Uh, the way she is basically a blamed Putin for this gas increase, fuel increase, is avoiding what the White House did on day one, which was shut down energy production in this country. We're all aware of that. Um, but she does a very good job of plausible deniability pretty much for everything that she has to say. I expect she'll get paid well wherever she goes, if she writes a book, whether she gets on MSNBC, whatever network pays her. I don't think this is the last we'll see of Jen Psaki. Yeah, and I mean, we have seen, of course, former press secretaries uh, head to different cable news networks. So perhaps it's not the biggest surprise, uh, Vic, but what do you think of her, of her next move? Well, I think we have to take the bag of goods that she will take with her. I think she's unlikable to a lot of people because when she responds to good questions from good journalists, asking questions and asking for answers that we want to know as citizens dealing with these issues now in the United States. She's very crass. She bites back and she yells and demeans in a very real way these journalists. Now, the advantage she will have at any other network is she's not going to have to take live questions. So in that regard, she may be more likable, but I think the bag of goods she brings with her along with the lack of credibility and the lack of open-mindedness and having good dialogue with journalists will hamper her ability to be successful and have any indicia of credibility while on air. I got just 30 seconds for you, Jonathan, uh, but who takes her place if this Axios report is true? Uh, well, whoever it is, I wish she'd take Joe Biden with her. But uh, most likely what the reality is with her is she's going to go to one of these, uh, either CNN or MSNBC. And I, I agree with Vic about, you know, she's not a very well-liked person. And uh, the I think wherever she goes, you're going to see the same thing that's happened before. She is a, a one-line puppet. It's hate Trump and blame Putin. And that's what you're going to hear from her no matter where she goes. We'll leave it right there, and we'll continue to follow that story. Jesse Jane Duff, Vic Bajaj, Jonathan Gillum, thank you so much for being our panelists today. Enjoy your weekend.